This way. I love King's Landing in the afternoon. The sun just barely kisses your skin. You used to love this place. Remember, we'd come listen to the musicians in the evening with Lady Marjorie? I have a lot on my mind lately. Just through here. What are you doing? You'll see. Queen Cersei's finest wine. Where did you get that? I know a boy who keeps the Queen's cellar well stocked. Nobody will miss it, I assure you. A little won't hurt. So, I, uh... Well, I just... I'm not very good at this sort of thing. Listen, if I tell you this... Mira, you must promise to keep it to yourself. You can tell no one. I want to trust you, but I need you to promise. I swear, I won't tell a soul. My mother was a handmaiden to Lady Elena for many years. She became pregnant. It was a disgrace to her family. My true name is Sarah. Flowers. You're a bastard? Yes. I'm fortunate to be where I am, I know that. But to always have to hide. I don't want to hide from you as well. What happened to your mother? Lady Elena asked no questions. She took care of my mother. And when I was born, she gave me the name Durwell. My mother died not long after. Who else knows about this? Lady Marjorie, her grandmother, and now you. It's just... I don't want to be Sarah Flowers forever. I need Lady Marjorie to arrange a marriage for me. It's my chance at a life. A family of my own. If there's anything I can do to help, just ask. There is something. I know she often confides in you, and I was hoping that maybe... Sometime when she comes to you wanting to talk, you might suggest she talk to me instead. Give me a chance to win her over. Coming from you, it's sure to mean a lot. Please, Mira. I can't make that promise, Sarah. You could if you wanted. It's not that difficult. You'll just have to find another way, Sarah. I would, but... <sighs> Maybe you're right. I know your family's troubles are much greater than mine. With what happened to your brother and your father. You need this more than I do. Hmm. A conspiracy of handmaidens. Lord Tyrion. My lord. Ladies, what have we here? If you mean to drink from that flagon, you're going about it the wrong way. We aren't doing anything wrong. On the contrary, you seem to be doing everything right. Not the finest arbor red, but a favorite of my sister's. Quite expensive for a handmaiden. I'd be curious to know how you got hold of it. Since I'm certain my sister didn't give it to you, she won't even share with me. Though that's hardly surprising. I took the wine from the cellars. Aren't you full of surprises? 
I suggest bringing cups next time. You'll steal wine from the Queen Regent, but you won't risk an alliance with me. You need to know what risks are worth taking. Things have changed. My father has recently taken an interest in Ironwood. Most of the Royal Navy went up in green flames. It must be rebuilt. He insisted I handle things myself. I'm on my way to meet representatives of Lord Whitehill. Lord Whitehill? He's hired a pair of merchant lords to broker for his house. It would seem Lord Whitehill wishes to sell the Ironwood right out from beneath your family. I don't know much about the man, but judging by his up-jumped sellswords, negotiating with him won't be pleasant. I have an idea. Come with me. These men think I have no choice but to deal with them. Imagine their surprise when I bring a forester to the table. It might be the first fun I've had in months. My lady. We've been waiting here for an hour. Andros, be courteous. Courtesy in a merchant. Like finding gold in your chamber pot. Apologies, my lady. Who is this? Some girl you've brought for entertainment? She's a lady, Lord Andros. Just a handmaiden, my lords. What does that mean? Allow me to introduce Lady Mira of House Forrester. Mira Forrester? Why are you here? A fair question. We were told we would be speaking to Lord Tyrion alone. Perhaps you should ask Lord Tyrion. I asked you. Andros. She's here for the same reason you are. Ironwood. I'm sorry, Lady Mira, but we've already spoken to Lord you Tyrion. You spoke, I listened. Lady Mira has since persuaded me to consider her offer first. Now, if you'll excuse us... You're going to dismiss You us? can't do this. I assure you, I can. This is a mistake, my lord. I don't think so. Lord Whitehill will hear of this. He's not a man to take such matters lightly. There's no need to make threats. You have no idea. Lord Tyrion. Lord Tyrion, do let me know when you've come to a decision. I'd like the opportunity to change your mind. Lady Mira. Good day, gentlemen. Ah, well, that was fun. Now, as for your offer, what did you have in mind? My lord? The Crown's Ironwood. I assume you have a proposition? You had a reason for coming here. I know it wasn't just to entertain me. I'm sure you already have a proposal in mind. Say the Crown agrees to buy Ironwood solely from you. Lord Whitehill will be left in the cold. If he wishes to sell to the Crown, he'll have to do so through your family. You will have him at your mercy. Or you'll bring your houses to open war. You do know that's a possibility, don't you? With you as a partner, that won't happen. As Master of Coin, I can do many things. But sending an army to the North is not one of them. However, I know your house needs this. I'll consider the arrangement. Of course, you'd have to do something for me in return. Don't worry. The terms will be fair. I need more than that. I'll have an answer for you soon enough. We have an understanding, then. 
Thank you, my lord. This will either be very good for both of us, or very bad for you. For your sake, I hope it's the former. My lady. They were headed for the main gate. I know another way. You're coming with us then. If you're to save your house, you'll need more than the two of us at your side. You'll need an army. That's why you're here, isn't it? To hire one. An army of cell sorts. And a man to lead them. Do you hear what I'm saying, boy? I can lead an army. I know you can. I've always known it. Your father was blind to that. None of that matters without sellswords to hire. And all the companies around here are engaged. What about Croft? One-eyed Croft, with the second sons. They're all with the Targaryen girl now. But Croft owes me a favor. I'm pretty sure he hates you, actually. No. He'll help us. I'll make sure of it. And how are you going to do that? We didn't part on the best of terms. I'll be charming. Right. Well, this mother of dragons and her cell swords are headed north, so we make for Marine. Wait, Marine? Shit. What? Unfinished business there. I don't want to talk about it. We can't afford any distractions. It's not your problem. It'll be fine. What kind of unfinished business? The kind I'd rather keep to myself. Ponte Renas! Yunkai Heroncho si bota con costoti da orra. Ponte Renas, Yon Kai Heroncho si bota con costoti da orra. Let's go. You're quick, I'll give you that. But you're reckless. If I have to, I will murder my way to Ramsey Snow and cave his bloody head in. 
You two can talk about it later. We need to get out of here. They won't stop looking for us. It's a long journey to Marine on foot. I hope you're ready, Asher. It won't be easy. Just try to keep up, Uncle. Don't you worry about me. Either we cross the narrow sea with an army at our backs, or House Forrester will not survive to see winter. I have information that will aid you with the imp. Meet me in the gardens at midnight. There. <clears throat> that should last through Lady Elena's visit, at least. There's been no news from Mira. She may not have found a way to help with Elena. We'll be fine, Mother. I pray you're right. Lord Glenmore's army could keep us from ruin. But Elena must still agree to the marriage. <clears throat> My lord, you might remind Lady Elena that in terms of lineage, you are still very much a man. Maester. What I mean is, if the two of you wanted to produce an heir... I'll make sure she knows. It cannot hurt. Most ladies her age. Enough, Maester. When last we spoke of Elena, you seemed unsure how she might feel about you. You just have to show her that you're still the man she knew. I don't mean to burden you with unwanted advice. You're making me nervous, Mother. Don't be. You'll do fine. My lord, she's here. Roderick? You look... I know, I'm unspeakably handsome. I see you haven't lost your sense of humor. <laughs> no. Just two limbs and half a face. <laughs> Please. So, here we are. You look as beautiful as ever, Elena. Oh, thank you. I set out for Ironrath as soon as I heard you were alive. My father suggested I wait, but I can't believe it's been two years. Your brother's name day feast. We danced until the sun came out. But now your house prepares for a funeral. And you... Tell me the truth, Roderick. How are you, really? And please, be honest with me. I don't mean to pry, but... I'm getting better every day. Might be a while before we dance again, though. I'm glad to hear you're recovering. 
So much has changed since we were children. Playing hide and seek in the grove and... You're so easy to find. You always hid behind the same tree. <laughs> Maybe I wanted you to find me. But Roderick... I, um... I need to ask you something. When I arrived at Ironrath today, your courtyard was filled with soldiers. White Hill soldiers. They said... some terrible things. The White Hills are your oldest enemies, Roderick. Why are they here? Has something happened? We weren't given a choice. Those soldiers are here at the orders of the Bolton. That's horrible. Bruce Bolton must mean to occupy Iron No. He just wants to show our loyalty. I'm going to be honest with you, Roderick. I have always looked forward to our marriage. But in light of all that's happened to your family... I... My father is questioning the wisdom of our betrothal. He wants me to call it off. And what do you want? I've been asking myself the same question. And frankly, I'm torn. I don't care about your scars, Roderick. I love the boy you were, and I can love the man you are. But my family can't get drawn into a war with the Boltons. They're the Wardens of the North. And they flay their enemies. My house is stronger than it looks. Every one of us is fighting to survive. Even beyond Ironrath. <sighs> it's good to hear you so assured. But I have to be practical. Lena. It doesn't matter how we feel. How can I ask my father to risk everything? Even for you. Because I love you, Elena. Roderick. I wish that was enough. I'm sorry. But I have to think of my family. I'm going to tell father the betrothal is off. If it helps, we can delay the announcement. It'll give you time to get your affairs in order. Deepest apologies, my lord. I tried to stop him, but so, he... So, the rumors are true. You have no right to just... And if it isn't Elena Glenmore. You're not still marrying into this wretched family. My father has not yet made a decision. Well, for what it's worth, you can do much better than this cripple. And my son Griff needs a bride. What do you want, Whitehill? What do I want? Ask your mother. She invited me here. That's not true. I sent a raven to Lord Whitehill about letting Brian attend the funeral. But I never expected him to barge in like this. Oh, she practically begged me to come. Of course, I'd want the same in her position. The youngest son home to mourn his dead father and brother. What sort of a game are you playing, Whitehill? I just want to be certain that you know your place. Lord Ramsay ordered your family to obey my soldiers until my son Griff arrives from Heronhall. But now, I hear you're ordering them around. It makes me start to question your obedience. Lud, enough of this. Fine. Let's talk this through. How about I talk and you fucking listen? Sure. Here's the idea. We're going to make a fresh start, you and I. Your brother Ethan was so self-righteous it made me sick. But you're a different man entirely, aren't you? So, if you want Ryan at that funeral, show Lady Elena you respect your betters. Kneel and kiss my shiny ring. Just do it, Roderick. You don't want to end up like your brother, do you?
Very good. Now then, since you're a loyal subject, I'll need you to pay me a tribute. I'm taking what should have been mine in the first place. The other half of the Ironwood Forest. You can't do Ramsey that! Snow, I said... know what Ramsay said. I'm saying something else. As of today, I harvest Ironwood from wherever the fuck I please. And you can't do a bloody thing to stop me. I'm glad you're starting to see things my way. Well, I have what I came for. I'll leave you to your business. Oh, by the way, my men have a name for you. Roderick the Ruined. <laughs> Isn't that clever? I can't believe you would submit to him like that. I know you had your reasons, but... He doesn't deserve your obedience. I did it for Ryan. <sighs> Maybe I'd have done the same. My lord. Are you well? This fight isn't over. Not even close. You can't be fighting with the other recruits. You need those men to have your back. There's enough out here trying to kill us without trouble amongst our own. It was Finn's fault. I think he might be dangerous. We need dangerous men for what's coming. I'm Garrett. Frostfinger told me about you. Seems to think you might be trouble. You might be right. He said worse about me. He said... You fought for the North with the Foresters. You were there. At the Twins. Yes. I still don't understand. Three thousand men, and not one, could save my brother. Why didn't anyone fight back? Why didn't they rally to their king? The men were too drunk to draw their swords. The phrase cut us open. Those cowards. Couldn't face Rob like men, so they stabbed him in the back. They couldn't even give him an honorable death. Let him die fighting. Your brother would have won the North's freedom. He deserved to be king. He was good at it. He was good at everything. Now the Freys command River Run, and the Boltons are Wardens of the North. After what they did, it's not right. I wish I could have killed them myself. I keep thinking if I'd been there, I could have done something. But chances are, I'd be dead too. Whatever I once thought, my place is here, with the Night's Watch. There are those here who will hate you for who you are. Southerners who will call you traitor. Northerners who will call you craven. Some won't even have a reason. They'll hate you anyway. You can't do anything about it. 
Trust me, I know. I don't care if they hate me. Let them think what they like. Ignoring them won't be as easy as you think. Most of the men are criminals, forced to take the black. You were a squire for a noble house. What happened to you today happened to me more times than I can count. I learned there's nothing more important than having brothers you trust. I felt the same first time I saw it. I heard you want to be a ranger. Why? Why risk your life out there? Winter is coming. I want to fight. You'll have your chance, don't worry. Not many recruits want to be rangers. They'd rather stay here where they think they'll be warm and safe. But Mance Raider marches on the wall with a hundred thousand wildlings. I've seen them for myself. The men here are murderers. Thieves, rapers. You won't like most of them, and they won't like you. But they're your brothers now. Can you stand with them? Can you see past your differences? I'll stand with them. Glad to hear it. I'd say you'll get used to the cold. But you won't. Come on. Better get by a fire, or you'll end up like Frostfinger. I'm here, but where are you? You there! Show yourself! Where do you oh. think you're going? At this time of night? I'm meeting someone. It's a little late to be out, isn't it? Do you know what this uniform means? It means you serve the Lannisters. So? You best get yourself back to your chambers. And I mean, now. If you don't like it, you can take it up with the commander. No. I'm staying out here. Are you deaf? At ease, Lucan. The lady is with me. Yes, sir. Enjoy your night. I hope he wasn't bothering you, my lady. I'm Damien. Thank you, Damien. It was my pleasure. You got my note. That was you. I'm very glad you could make it. I've been wanting to talk to you for quite some time. While the secrecy... If you wanted to talk to me, you could have asked. It never seemed the right time. I am sorry about this, Mira. But you've made enemies of the wrong people. A handmaiden should know her place. What people? 
I'll make this quick if that helps. I'd hate to see you suffer. yelling. You did what you had to do, Lady Mira. You had no choice. I need to get back. Someone might see me. I'll take care of you. I know a few places in Fleabot. No one will ever find him. Good luck, and be careful. Thanks. Everything all right, sir? <gasps> Damien, where are you? Isn't it? I've missed you, Ray. I've missed you too. They said you were gone. Ramsey Snow did this. He did that to Ethan. You're going to hurt him, aren't you? Lord Whitehouse says you won't. Because you're a coward. But I know you will. He deserves it. Ryan, you know I'm not a coward. Foresters. Stand together. That's enough. Your little chat is over. Get out of my way. Now, I said you're done. Keep your distance or I'll drag him back to high point right now. What? I have to go back? No! I want to come home! Roderick, you should speak to Mother. Roderick? Are you going to forget about me? Are you? We're all thinking about you. Every day. Try to find a way to bring you home. Please hurry. How about a story? No, no. You've had your chance. He's a child. What harm could it do? Make it a quick one. Mother. Join the others. He's right there. My son. But soon they'll take him from me just like before. It's happening all over again. I can see it. My father's house was once mighty like this one. But his loyalty to the Targaryens cost us dearly. I watched as countless of our kin fell. Saw our lands destroyed. Everything we clung to was ripped from our hands. I can't watch that same fate before this family. Our house. My children. I won't let that happen to us. You must be ready to defend us, Roderick. 
Your body may be damaged, but your spirit must be like iron. You let nothing stand in your way, do you understand? If you have to murder every last White Hill down to the babes in their beds, no matter what, you must do it. Promise me. It won't come to that. We will defeat them. War asks much of a man that he is not prepared to give. You must be ready. Promise me. We will be ready, Mother. Mira, Asher, even Garrett. They all stand with us. We are strong. Yes. I suppose we have to be. Would you say a few words, my lord? Father, he, he was everything, everything I ever wanted to be. He showed me what it is to be a lord. He was always honourable. I never knew a better man. And I am, I am sorry. I love you, father. Ethan, my little brother. He stood up to Ramsay Snow. He saved our sister's life and paid with his own. He was only a boy. We honor Lord Gregor Forrester, my husband, my love. And our Lord, Ethan. My sweet little boy. <laughs> but now is time to say goodbye. Father and son are returned to the earth, to the ice. And from their sacrifice, new life begins. Iron from ice. Iron, Iron from ice. From ice. ice. From eyes, from eyes, we forced us born to eyes, we all return. Father, brother, I've sworn, I've sworn to guard this rest you've earned. I'd bear my neck to Swim the shivering sea. Pain slavers pay in crimson rains to bring Ethan back to me. Snow grabbed me from my mother's grasp to claim me as his prize.
What is going on? Roderick, you have to do something. Lord Whitehill's son has arrived. Griff Whitehill needs to torment us. Nothing worse than a fourthborn with something to prove. It was bad enough when it was just the soldiers. We can't live with them under our roof. Form up and follow my lead. You'll be taking your vows. You too, Tuttle. Time to start proving you're a brother. Oh, the things we do for family. I wonder sometimes if it's worth it, all the sacrifices. Enjoy the wedding. How much further to Marine? A few days. If the Lost Legion doesn't catch up to us first. No. I overheard a couple of men whispering about the Lannister Guard. They're questioning people. Is there anything else really to be worried about? What was that? From eyes, from eyes, we forced us.